collar ballers what's going on it's preacher and i've been pottering around the ptr giving you an update on exactly what's going on practicality terms uh, when your 6.2 drops now there is still some stuff missing always the way with the ptr they tend to release it in bits and bobs and then eventually we'll get there but i'm here to bring you the most important info and some of the stuff that you might not find on patch notes or you might presume to be and actually is not Okay, so when you get into 6.2, what's going to happen? Well, depending on your faction, you're one of your leaders, like Mr. Voljin, is going to turn up in your garrison with a brand new garrison campaign. Yeah, that was those things that you probably finished on your main. And it is it is the standard stuff. Thank God Blizzard didn't go out of their way to change the formula. you got to bob over to the Iron Docks and you'll get a nice big bar that you can fill up by grinding. Now, luckily, the quest itself, this is actually to get the Naval Yard. So to, in order to actually get the blueprints for the Naval Yard, you can actually do that in about two minutes. You don't have to do any of the filling the bar stuff or anything like that. It's an optional extra that rewards some garrison resources and some gold at the moment. Now, be aware, there's a new resource in the game. It might change change that so i'll try it closer to the end of the ptr and see if the new resource actually pops up but right now it's garrison resources so you're gonna go over there get your blueprint it's so quick in fact the flight to the iron docks that you take from your garrison takes way longer than actually doing the quest so grab your blueprints back down to your garrison and then you're going to build your naval yard and it's slightly outside of your base it's exactly where you landed at the very beginning of wall of draenor that's now going to be your new docks and once you get those constructed, Mr. Kadgar will show up. There'll be a cutscene, which is currently not imp yet implemented. A cutscene will come showing the building the docks, and then Mr. Kadgar will arrive with the next stage of the legendary quest. Now, this is three parts. Get 12 things from the raid. Nothing surprising there, but it does seem like a low amount, so maybe we'll get our rings nice and fast so they're used in progress. And then two other bits. Now, these two other bits are a little bit concerning. Uh, these are naval quests, okay? These are very similar to... The sort of cachet quests that you get from your garrison right now. So this means you need to have the shipyard and probably fully upgraded. Now I haven't got this far down the quest yet. But it looks like you'll need the level 3 shipyard in order to get the quests. And probably maybe even fail them. And maybe there's a timer involved similar to the 2 week countdown we have on the uh, item caches. Don't know yet. Don't know. That's all like worst case scenario, yeah? Uh, so you'll get a quest and you need two of these things that come from the naval docks. Off you go. So that means if you didn't want to do Tanan Jungle or you weren't looking forward to this Timeless Isle type place, you're out of luck. Because these do docks do need a new type of resource, which is comes in the form of these barrels, these barrels of supplies for your ships. Now you do get to build your ships. It's very much like building, constructing a building within your garrison. It's very similar, in fact. You'll set your workers going and you'll see the echo or the outline and off it goes and gets building. Now, it's not fully implemented, as you can probably see in the background, but that's how it works. And off to Tanan Jungle you sail. Now, you can get into the Tanan Jungle anyway from Gorgrond. You can just use Aviana's Feather. And this is where I'll take the opportunity to tell you, get Aviana's Feather. Tanan Jungle, before we get too much into it, is extremely dense and windy and absolutely chock full of mobs that will dismount you. Now, before you think stables, I'm talking about constant charges and grappling hooks. It's so annoying. It's unbelievable. It's so irritating. If you're worrying about the construction of your docks, it does cost 5,000 garrison resources, okay? So if you're getting legendary rings on your alts or even your main and you're used to throwing away your resources for things from the trade post or anything like that, get saving them. You need 5,000. I don't know how much it costs to upgrade it. Hopefully it will get there and I'll be able to show you or somebody else might have covered it already. So off to Tanan Jungle we go. What were you expecting from the Tanan Jungle? It is somewhere between Ashran, the Timeless Isle, and the, the Sun Isle that came with Throne of Thunder, the Thunder Isle. It's very much a combination of all these things. So, as expected, when you get there, the first thing they have you do is go and get all the flight points. And that is dotted all over this extremely dense map. Yeah? This is why the feather is so crucial. It's so, so crucial. There are impassable mountains, lots of big windy roads where going from point A to point B on your map looks like it should take you about 30 seconds. It's actually going to take you about five minutes or so of riding around on your mount. Get the feather, jump over it. If you haven't got the feather yet, please, God, just build it in and get the fucking feather because it's going to save your ass. It really is. It's absolutely vital. The quest here. <laughs> what have we got? 
what is it what has this got to do now currently it doesn't seem to give any of the barrels out now the servers have gone down so i can't check any further some people are reporting getting some so they can do some naval missions and some people are saying no we can't seem to find any they've taken them out blah 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 so i'll update you on that as we go what we do have is a lot of treasures, the, you know, the epic purple treasures that you find lying around. Not found anything majorly interesting yet, nothing like the Peons Mining Pick or anything like that, or the Herbing Braces, which allow you to get super fast gathering of resources, which is a very, very nice item. I haven't found anything like that yet, and in fact, there's a lot of placeholder stuff. A lot of rares, a lot of rares, and they're easily soloable. Now, I will point out my Rogue is in like 700-ish item level gear. Which means, yeah, I'm likely to be able to solo them, but if they drop 650 blues, right? So while I can solo them on, solo on, them on, on my rogue, they're certainly designed for way, way, way less item level and probably a little bit of group action going on there. So 650 blues is what's dropping now. That looks to be what will drop because they're called like Tanan Leg Plates version 1 item level 650 and all the blues that i got throughout there i killed probably 20 or so uh, rares and blue events they all dropped about the same stuff if they didn't drop that they dropped some sort of placeholder green so that's what you can expect to see there so lots of treasures lots of rares lots of very different environments which i think is quite nice now what you can clearly see here is that the tanan jungle was designed to be an ordinary wad zone because they're almost exactly the same. The same sort of event layouts. They've been tweaked and modified, obviously, to sort of bring it up to a level 100 standard. But in general, this was definitely, you can see, it's very similar to any zone when you first walked into it. As you're presented with a ton of, uh, a ton of epic drops, a ton of rares, all sorts of little events and quest hubs and all this kind of stuff. And your very, very first hour in there is going to be running around, collecting flight points, jumping over cliffs and just generally being introduced to all the different areas of which there are many it is so dense <coughs> crazily dense to be in there i have not seen a zone like this in a very long time a very very long time Do, is it good it is what it is <coughs> if you were expecting anything more than what is essentially a grind zone it's not it's not it's a very grindy zone you'll be there on your main because you need to for the legendary quest in order to upgrade your docks you're going to have to go there uh, but they've made it so dense, I assume, so that most zones can get in there. Most most realms won't be overcrowded. And you can certainly find an area for you. What I will say at the moment, and I very much doubt this will make it to live, is they have phased Alliance and Horde in the Tanan Jungle. When I was in on my Horde character, I was only surrounded by Horde. When I switched over to Alliance, there were only Alliance characters. There were no Horde whatsoever and vice versa. So I very much doubt that'll make it into live. It's probably just for testing purposes. But absolutely, that is the case. Absolutely. No gar no gar building building specific traits yet. So we had things like the banners. If you, Once you got your Frostwolf and... Uh, the lump, you know, the lumber mill, the training post, and you got your shredders and all that kind of thing. You Every zone you went into in WAD, you got this new ability, such as being able to wrap mounted combat in Nagrand. Nothing like that yet. You build your base, <coughs> and literally it says, okay, go and collect all the flight points. Now, there's nothing changing the box here. The very first quest you get is, again, fill up the bar, grind it out. It is a grindy zone, looking for drops, looking for these barrels, looking for these resources very similar to mop this isn't surprising before people go god why have they done that it was exactly the same in mop you couldn't get your legendary quest without going into the timeless isle and collecting the coins and killing all the four bosses and all that kind of stuff so very very similar on that stamp so far looking pretty good nothing out of the box that's super amazing but nothing unexpected either hopefully it'll turn up something a little bit better once i can get in there and get deeper into it and more content is added but i'll keep you updated on that all right guys thank you very much for listening i'll see you again Bye bye